The following question is what's called an average rate question. Now, average rate question is a particular type of rate problem that you can see um, in any sort of distance problems on the GMAT. And as you can see, what I'm starting to do before we get into the question, as always, is label my table with a rate column, a time column, and a distance problem. Now, as I've shown before, special types of rate problems do have their own special type of formula. Because we know this is an average rate question, we get to use a formula that is average rate, or we'll say average for short, is equal to total distance, or total D, divided by total time, or total T. Now, like any other rate question, our goal is to obviously fill in our chart before plugging into our formula at the end of the problem. So what we're going to do is we are going to label our chart with two rows. The first row is what Melissa is doing from home to school. So we'll call that two, as in to school. And then, of course, we know that she's going from school back to home. So we'll call that from, which is from school to home. So let's, have, let's give this a read, and then we can kind of start jotting information into our chart. So the problem reads, Melissa walked from home to school at an average rate of four miles per hour. She realized when she got to school that she had forgotten her math book, so she ran home at an average rate of 10 miles per hour to get it. What was her average speed for this round trip? So first and foremost, we know that her rate going to school was four or four miles per hour. We know that her rate going from school was 10 or 10 miles per hour. Now, as you scan the question, you may be thinking to yourself, well, I don't see any more information to plug in to deal with our chart. Well, that may be true, but there is one very special component that many of the average rate problems have in them, and that's that generally, unless explicitly stated, the route uh, that they're taking to the destination is the same route that they're taking uh, from the destination, meaning, the amount of distance or the distance that she's going from home to school is the same as school to home. So this gives us an option. Now we can plug in any sort of real number we want for distance, or we can just plug in a variable like x. Now what that's doing is it's allowing us to get our time in terms of variable x. Remember, time is equal to distance divided by rate, which means that the time going to school is x over 4, time going from school to home is x over 10. And now we're in a position where we can actually use this time and use this distance, and I'll circle all of them, to plug into our average formula. So we can say that average equals total distance, which is distance 1 plus distance 2, or x plus x, which we'll say is 2x, over total time, which is x plus 4, over x plus 10. Now you'll notice right away that we're going to have to get common denominators for the time. The least common denominator of 4 and 10 is 20. So if we do the shorthand math here to get that, we multiply this by 5 over 5. We multiply x over 10 by 2 over 2, giving us 5x over 20 plus 2x over 20. And what we have for an average, as we keep going down here, is 2x over 7x over 20. The last step here, as everyone knows, when you're dividing by fractions, you flip and multiply. So the average equals 2x. What we're going to do is put 2x over 1. So we understand that we're dealing with a fraction on the top and a fraction on the bottom. It's just going to alleviate any confusion we might have. And then we have 20 over 7x. Remember, what we did is we flipped the denominator before multiplying. What you'll notice right away is that the x's cancel as we do our cross cancel, and we're left with 40 over 7. Now, if the answer choices had left it as 40 over 7, we would be done. But you can see there are some mixed fractions in our answer choices. So if we convert this to a mixed fraction or a mixed number, you get 5 because 7 goes into 45 times, and then 5 sevenths, leaving us with answer choice C.